sure you have your card in there. Um, again, my name is Richard Vasquez. I'm with Artisan Insurance Group. Um, we are an independent insurance agency. We're based in Brandon. Now, if you're not based in Brandon, that's okay. Don't, don't let that uh, worry you because 99% of what we do is by phone and by fax and by email and, and electronic today. You know, your customers aren't going to, if you're in Pinellas County, your customers aren't going to have to drive all the way to Brandon to deal with us. We can, we can certainly get them taken care of. Um, now, you've probably heard that term independent insurance agent. Um, that basically means that we don't work for any one particular company. Um, we can work for as many companies as we like and, and, and only those companies that we feel really are going to take care of our customers. So we, we, we think that we work with the cream of the crop as far as insurance companies go out there. Um, not, not every insurance agency is like that. Um, and and uh, you, you're, you have a lot of companies that can only send business to one company here or there. Um, and, uh, and, and that kind of limits your customers and gives them fewer choices and probably will not allow them to get the best price and, and the best coverage now. As far as insurance goes, as, as a realtor, why do you even want to get involved with the insurance process? You know, obviously you don't want to spend hours calling dozens of people and trying to find your customer the best rate. That's, that's not something that you guys should do because it takes a licensed person in order to do that. And Lord knows you guys as realtors are going to have enough things to do. You're going to be very busy um, taking care of a lot of things. But um, what you're going to find, if you're new to the business, you're going to find out very quickly that you're going to need to surround yourself with good people that can really help out your customers. Insurance agents, title companies like, like Clear Title, um, home inspectors, good mortgage companies. Now, you know, again, you don't you don't want to you know try to do the work for your customer and 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 try to find them the best mortgage rate and try to find them the best um, price on a home inspection. But you want to be the source of the source and and be able to go to your customers and say, look, I recommend these people. They they, they specialize in working in the real estate transaction. They work with realtors a lot. They'll make they'll make your life a lot easier. Um, with regards to insurance, if you had asked me a few years ago, I would have told you there's no such thing as an uninsurable property. But not anymore. Every day we're learning new regulations, new guidelines, new forms that have to be filled out, um, new, new guidelines for roofs, new guidelines for electrical, new guidelines for plumbing, AC, things like that. So. Um, the insurance process can either really help your, your, your real estate deal or, or the insurance can send it crashing down to the ground. And we don't want it to come crashing down to the ground. Now, um, especially if you're going to deal with um, real estate investors, there's, believe me, you're going to deal with real estate investors because that, that's, that's what, you know, a lot of the sales that are going on today are cash buyers, um, people who are, who are investing for, to, for rental properties. Um, real estate investors, most of them, anyways, aren't buying the beautiful Clearwater Beach tiled roof built in 2010 house. Most of them are buying smaller um, rental properties, um, looking at price, and when they're looking at price, there are sometimes things that, that there's a reason that, that the houses are being sold so inexpensively. So you have to take into consideration things like the age of the roof and, and when was the electrical updated. Um, at, you know, as an insurance agent, I've got a home inspector, an electrician, a plumber, and a roofer on speed dial, okay, because we're, we're constantly dealing with things like that. So, what, what, I, what I would encourage you to do is to not, you know, you know, don't wait till the last minute and then a week before closing tell your customer, okay, we're ready to close, now go out and find insurance. Because if you do that, you're setting yourself up for a disaster. Again, you should have connections with reputable people in the in, in, in the real estate transaction. And when it comes to insurance agents, if it's us, great. If it's if it's not us, that's fine too. But still, go out there and find somebody who you can trust, who will take care of your customers, somebody who's specializing in real estate, not somebody who also does DUI drunk drivers and commercial and. Um, boats and motorcycles and everything else. Um, people that, that are going to put your real estate customers at the front of the list and really take good care of them 
That way you're, you're not faced with that disaster scenario a week from closing and either A, you find out the house isn't insurable, or B, the price is twice what the mortgage broker was, was <coughs> anticipating and now the ratios are out of whack and they no longer qualify for that loan. So, um, you know, feel free to pass our, our name, our phone number along to customers. Um, we've got some giveaways back there um, with all of our contact information on them. Um, Send us emails. If your customer is looking at three different houses in three different locations, just shoot me an email with an address on it. I get them every single day. Allow us to look at those houses. That way we can kind of troubleshoot them for you so that if there are some issues here and there, you know, we can give you some idea on price on insurance so they know that it's not going to um, torpedo their loan. And also, if there are some things that they need to look at, they can at least know going into the transaction that maybe there are some issues that are going to need take care of and we can really help your deal along and and, and and help you close very smoothly so so you have an iPod to give away I do all right so let's go ahead and hold the drawing did everybody get their card in there let's let an independent person go well, that's me. okay all right. <laughs> I don't have a card in there okay all right who's this Maya Maya okay there you go whatsoever and your customer doesn't pay for any of our services basically we get paid a commission by the insurance company that we place the insurance with okay. so if we place it with company XYZ if the price is the same no matter what they just give us a small commission All right. okay we are now going to preview a wonderful